Hello everyone, it's Francesco here. Today we're gonna to do the top 10 set app apps and I'm gonna be diving into some of the productivity ones here on the app. So before we begin, if you're probably like curious what set app is, it's basically like the Netflix for productivity apps for Mac users, where you can basically install that set app and you can get like access to a bunch of applications um, and they uh, sort of have over a hundred of them, I think it is. And uh, from there you can download them, uninstall them when you don't need them. Uh, but it means you don't necessarily have to pay those large fees to get access to some of these applications. Um, and there are some quite good ones on here. So the actual application is like $9.99 per month, uh, which is fairly reasonable if you span that out across a year. Um, and uh, for Teams it's $8.99 per month. Uh, so if you're looking for like freelancing or entrepreneurs uh, who are maybe setting up something and don't necessarily want to pay that huge large licensing fees, then this application might be more suitable for you. So I've downloaded a few and of course uh, we're going to try them out. Before we begin guys, if you're interested, you can check out my more recent medium writing about productivity apps. I'll include the link in the description. So uh, here is what I've installed. I, as I think I mentioned before, I actually first found the company behind Setup, Mac poor through Clean My Mac X, which is a great way to sort of keep your MacBook uh, or Mac devices uh, clean from any sort of malware, sort of maintenance, optimization. It regularly helps you uninstall applications. But that's the first app I found. I'll include the review that I did in the description below. And then I sort of discovered Setup through there. Uh, I've had it installed for a couple of years. And there's one app that I'm really like in this setup, but I'm gonna dive into 10 that I think you'll find pretty cool. So the first one's one called Repeat, and it is a daily habit tracker. So if you're looking to sort of keep track of, you know, some routines that you might have. So for example, it could be like um, eat a banana and you can add some notes for yourself. You can change the iconography as well. So change it to a piece of fruit and you can change how often it appears and how many times a day you want it to come up. So let's take out the work days, the non-work days. You can set reminders and you've got a habit going there. And um, so sort of once you uh, enter it, you can naturally tick one off and you can see there that um, I should after today have a streak going because obviously naturally my streak will start tomorrow for that first one. Okay, so they have like a mood and habit tracker, uh, see how far you're going with your streaks and how well you're doing it. And it helps you to achieve your goals as well. It's quite a simple application packaged quite well and really simple. Okay, so this is the app that I, I really like inside of Setup. It's called Session and it's probably the most attractive application in the productivity space right now. It is basically a Pomodoro timer, but essentially you can set the piece of work you're working on. For example, it could be film setup video and you could choose the sort of category that you commonly associate it with. You could break that into different work projects you've got. You could set yourself a time and how long you're gonna spend on it, 15 minutes say, and you start the timer. But it goes a lot deeper here. Uh, what I really uh, most uh, like about this application is the analytics side of it. So as you can see here, during it, you could write yourself notes. So you can see here that I did some recent notes. Well, when I last time, when I last time I used it, you can see here that you can take notes throughout it. But when you finish the session, uh, you can naturally reflect on how it went. But what's quite nice is you can, so I can say stop working, you can go, into your analytics down here, I believe it is. And look how granular it goes. So let's say the last time I used it more aggressively was last March. You can see like exactly how much focus time you spent on, what amount of tasks you went on. If this is something you're interested in, some people do like that ability to see exactly how focused you were, what your mood was, to your work, where and how you spent your time. So that's like a, you can do a weekly report, you can do a monthly report, and you can do a daily report as well. So that's pretty cool in terms of sort of going deeper with your own focus for work. And it's a really beautifully designed application as well. Okay, so the next one is one called Calabio. And this one's quite interesting because it's basically like Google Documents, but apparently it's peer-to-peer, -peer, which is suitable for people that are looking for more secure collaboration. So naturally, Actually, you can start collaborating with somebody else. You share a team 
uh, mate pin code and anyone that's nearby can essentially co-edit it with you um, and you can see and you can send a link to anyone who is inside of your Collabio spaces with an active internet connection uh, and they can get that invitation link there and edit in real time with you but this is very much an application that's focused towards co-editing but in a secure and encrypted environment um, using peer-to-peer -peer networks so quite an interesting application and uh, from when I was testing it it actually worked really nicely offline as well so next up is a really dead simple application it's called focus and focus is up here it's on the Mac menu bar if I go to preferences you'll be able to see it so basically what this does allows you to block certain websites and naturally through your web browsers it won't allow you to do that you can set up schedules very similar to an application called freedom you can also set up some quotes that appear on those side sites when you're on them if you are uh, going on them and you forget that this is all connected. You can set a break mode as well and actually have Pomodoro timers automatically looped between the timers and the breaks. You can also have a hardcore mode where you lock preferences during the timer sessions so that you don't and you're not tempted to break the rules for this. So quite a good application if you're trying to stay on task. Okay, so next up is MindNode. And this is actually something that Ian, who's in our community, um, went for a coffee with him in Birmingham. And he is a big fan of this application. And mainly because it's a very visual application. Some people I know use this as a to-do list application, uh, but also to mind map projects and ideas. So it's really simple in the way that it works. You can connect these sort of nodes to each other and naturally if you were say using it as a to-do and uh, you can add branches off each one and on and on and it's quite easy to navigate it you can add images you can add actual tasks so that's the actual task functionality to it um, and it's quite easy to be able to manage and use I'll include some footage of it of being worked better on their website uh, which uh, should be on screen now okie dokie so moment is another application that is more of an extension than an application uh, what it does is it helps you track upcoming events so for example as you can see here they've already got some pre-installed ones so how long's left of October how long's left of this week and you can sort of get an idea of those statistics which is quite scary but if you have like a date in mind or an event family thing or maybe even a project or even a, uh, like a process uh, that you're going for at the moment um, then you can sort of flag all of that there it's quite cool because you can see it in terms of the percentage and actually see the clock run which is a little bit scary uh, there's not much time running left to 2021 um, but it's really cool to be able to see uh, those percentages uh, in real time okay so the next one is an email application and it's familiar to many people here on the channel because it's Newton it's the same old looking Newton they got bought out again well actually they bought out once and uh, they're back and they're doing it through setup so naturally if you've got setup I believe you should get the subscription free that doesn't include I think the team plans which are naturally going to be a little bit more because you're connecting up and not everyone will have setup but it is available through uh, your email through uh, desktop sorry and also through uh, a wide range of devices and as you can see it works in, in the great similar fashion and um, they actually had a x.ai integration more recently we could do the regular stuff that you would like and um, send later follow up you know sending emails and also um, you can do the newsletter rewind in terms of what uh, things you might have missed start emails and so much more obviously that I'll include on their website okay so the next one is actually quite interesting because it's very integrated into your Mac once you've got it installed and it's called side notes I've actually seen this before and considering doing a separate review on it but side notes Basically, if you're whatever screen you're on, you can go up to the top here, and press side notes, and as you can see, it pops up on this right hand sidebar. But if I move across, I can still see it in this right hand side. So I can go ahead and I can create a new folder called, say, uh, notes. And as you can see, I can go ahead and create notes down the side. Um, it also allows you to do to do's and pictures and anything you want, really. A lot of people do like this is because it's a little bit more integrated than, say, Apple Notes in being able to have that omnipresent on your laptop. However, it's also really accessible. Um, I, if Apple added this function, then it would probably become quite popular. But at the moment, side notes, I believe, seem to be one of the only tools that do it unless you're on an Android device or tablet. But I think it's a really cool uh, 
function. Let's just go back to the showcase demo. You can see here that you can uh, use Markdown as well and it could be handy for saving something as you're browsing the internet, like not maybe not necessarily a password, but it could be the size of your clothes, that you routinely use on a site, or maybe even a membership code that you use regularly, or maybe even just a to-do list that you don't necessarily want to commit to a full to-do list application, but you want something that could be quite helpful. Next up is Timinator. Timinator, all right, go away, side notes. So Timinator is a dead simple timer application, and as you can see, it's started the timer, and what is nice about it as well is I can add a new task, a new folder, but I can get detailed reports on, on how the time is going. I can get an overview of how much uh, that it, this piece of work is associated to. It's a very simple application. Um, you can actually see it here in more detail. As you see, you can get a timeline of how you spent your time during the day, but it's really quite a basic application. One thing that it, it prompted me to do when I actually started on this one was to get access to the, the accessibility so that it, it knows what application you're on and how you're spending your time. Okay, so one that might be suitable for Teams is an app called... Oh, they changed the logo for Focus. That's quite cool. Um, oh no, it's a different application. <laughs> Very similar though. <laughs> okay, so they've got an application here called Yak. Um, I will show you a preview of what it does, but basically it's an asynchronous voice and video messenger. Instead of having meetings, this application tries to record any voice notes or meetings that you will have, like whether it's a question or whether it's even um, something that's just like a statement or a useful bit of information and it sends it across to team members. You can connect it to Slack, but what people are liking about it is you don't necessarily have to have a meeting. So they sort of dump your knowledge and wait for the other person to respond in their own time, maybe even when they're working on the project you're working on. So folks, those are some of the applications on the Setup app that I thought you'd like. Obviously, I'll include links in the description to it. Um, it's quite interesting. It seems to be adding more applications more recently. So maybe I need to do a review of that. But hopefully you found this video useful and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio. Thank you.